Welcome to this session on the Cloud Data Platform. I'm joined by two of our senior leaders for the Cloud Data Platform, Nick Fleck and Premjith Ryaroth. Nick, Prem, thanks so much for being here and talking about the BAMF release and answering some of our questions our customers have around the Cloud Data Platform. Perhaps the best place to begin is with the session title itself. It's called Democratizing Data for the Modern Insurer. Now, some of our listeners may not be familiar with that term, democratize. So Nick, maybe I can start with you. Can you tell us what it means to democratize data and why that matters to insurance companies? Sure, and thanks, Curtis. Democratization at its simplest means to make accessible to everyone. So what we're really here to talk about today is making data accessible to everyone in the PNC industry. But there's a big challenge to that. Making data accessible is not just about making it available or collecting it. Anyone can collect data. The bigger challenges around how accessible that data you have is, which significantly impacts your ability to use it. And that ultimately drives cost and creates friction, which is impeding our collective ability as an industry to innovate using data and analytics. So to give you some context around that, there's a massive investment going on in the PNC industry right now, where machine learning and artificially intelligent solutions are being developed, helping carriers realize significant efficiencies in operational workflow, which more importantly, also provides customers with the ability to engage with their customers in new, more tailored service-oriented ways. As an example, using machine learning in the claims processing lifecycle to detect fraud, segment claims, and automate workflow based on severity, this not only creates workflow efficiencies, allowing adjusters to focus their efforts on highest value caseload, it creates a much richer customer experience by allowing claims to be processed with automatic payment and processing to get customers back on their feet faster when they really need it, which is really what insurance is all about. So the challenge is 70 to 80% of the work required to build any type of analytic like this is not about applied machine learning or AI. Analytic development is only as good as the data that you feed into it. So the effort is really about two things. First, collecting and making data available, like I mentioned earlier. And then second, which is where uh, the much bigger piece comes into play, curating that data into quality, analytic-ready data sets so you can train and retrain models dynamically and with accuracy over time. So to summarize, data democratization is definitely a big challenge for the industry. And within that, curation or making data accessible is really the biggest barrier which is impeding how fast we can all innovate and develop the types of engaging experiences we need to serve our customers better. This is a problem that I believe Godware is uniquely positioned to help solve for, and we are investing heavily in. We're very fortunate to have you all as the largest installation base of property and casualty insurers running their operations on Godware to support us. And today we help over 100 customers with uh, an analytic data model and engine that's tuned by that experience. We also have an external data listening engine sourcing and curating petabytes of external data daily. And last but not least, the most leveraged core PNC workflow systems in the world. So we have all the pieces. What we're doing is pulling them all together to help you solve for this challenge more holistically. So that makes sense. I get it. Democratize means to make data accessible to everyone. Now, you outlined some of the challenges with making that happen. What would you say Guidewire is doing specifically to address some of those challenges? Great question. Guidewire as a whole is building the industry's first end-to-end -end closed loop analytics platform. A large chunk of that is powered by something called the Guidewire data platform which is a native component of insurance suite in the cloud. Uh, the data platform ingests and captures every change to every field across insurance suite, while also ingesting external data via data listening to enrich your insight by bringing those two assets together. Once the data is available, we apply something called auto curation to automatically translate that data into consistent, reliable, analytic-ready data structures. Automatic data curation is what flips the paradigm from spending the majority of time uh, an investment managing data to using data, which helps solve for the complexity of data democratization that we talked about earlier. From there, we then leverage those analytic data structures through integration with predictive analytics for applied machine learning to train and deploy models with native integration to insurance suite. So customers can seamlessly leverage that embedded intelligence. And then last but not least, we close the loop by monitoring drift and then continuously fitting models based on business impact and behavior. So that end-to-end -end life cycle delivered without friction is what helps our customers innovate uh, to really realize the types of engaging experiences that I mentioned earlier. So ultimately, that's what we're doing. We're combining all of our assets to deliver a true first closed-loop analytic platform 
So you can go from data to embedded intelligence from analytics seamlessly. And tying this back to our last question, within that closed loop analytic workflow, data democratization or how accessible your data is, is still the biggest challenge. And we've invested in a modern data platform with a PNC auto curation engine to help solve for that. And all of that is just natively built into and available as part of your GuideWire Cloud subscription. So you don't have to go through a big IT project to adopt it. All you have to do is move to GuideWire Cloud. Thanks, Nick. I think that makes sense. It's really the reason why GuideWire is building this platform, in essence, to enable a closed loop analytics approach. So just to recap what I think I heard, it means making a company's own internal data accessible, democratizing it, if you will, adding lots of external data to also democratize that and provide analytics with more lift, and then applying analytics tools and techniques to gain that insight, often back into the core system with as much of that loop automated as possible. So maybe we can now drill in a little bit more deeply on how that works under the hood. Prem, over to you. Maybe you can give us some of the details on what you would consider a modern data platform is and how GuideWire's modern data platform compares to, say, other options. Thanks, Curtis. A modern data platform is a future-proof architecture that unifies data, making it discoverable, self-serviceable, and trackable for the advanced analytics, machine learning, and AI. So what problems do modern data platforms solve? To answer that, let's look at some of the challenges companies are facing when it comes to data. As we all know, there is no shortage of data in terms of quantity. The real challenge is tapping into the potential of the data to extract meaningful business insights. And what is making it difficult to do is the siloed and monolithic data stores. They are also forcing companies to make isolated decisions. To solve those challenges, a modern data platform needs to unify the data first, make the data discoverable, self-serviceable, and it should also support both data warehouse and data lake kind of use cases to cover all different kind of business analytics requirements. Now let's come to GuideWare Data Platform. GuideWare Cloud Data Platform is an enterprise grade and cloud native big data platform. As you can see in the diagram, GuideWare Data Platform is designed to unify data from GuideWare and non-GuideWare sources. Unifying data is an important characteristic of a modern data platform. The cloud data platform is designed to ingest, transform, store, and curate petabyte scale of data with real-time streaming capabilities. Also, it's important to note that there are multiple PNC-specific curation engines running inside the unified data platform that auto curates and offer rich set of AI ML solutions. That may be a good segue to talk about what makes GuideWare Data Platform unique. The answer is it's the PNC specific source in the form of curation engines running inside the platform. This is something a horizontal generic data platform player may not be able to provide. And GuideWare is uniquely positioned to do that. And the reason is because we have the largest installation base of PNC customers running their operations on GuideWare. We also have auto-curated analytic data model tuned by some of the biggest customers in the industry. These factors make uh, GuideWare data platform unique to the PNC industry, Curtis. Thanks, Prem. It sounds like many of those capabilities are already built into the platform and are available today. So I'd like to switch and ask specifically what do you see as some of the key capabilities coming up in the Banff release? Banff will have more platform capabilities with additional curation engines and other analytics features. Banff is also setting the stage for Bring Your Own BI, Marketplace, Data Studio, and the Data Hub and InfoCenter transition to start running it on top of the cloud data platform. Just to follow up, you mentioned the curation of data. Will any of that be included in Banff? Yes. Significant auto curation capabilities are built in BAN. We are also working with customers now looking to roll out more in Cortina. We are going to give you a teaser about what it looks like at the end of the discussion. Thanks, Prem. Nick, back over to you. Some customers may have the impression the data platform is only available to guideware built products, such as our Explorer product for business intelligence. First of all, is that true? And second, how can customers access their data from GuideWare Cloud for their own downstream purposes? So ultimately it's both. GuideWire Cloud is built as an open platform 
And we know that our customers have broader data ecosystems and analytic or integration efforts that exist outside of Guidewire. So the open platform approach applies to data as well, where we're inherently building the tools for customers to be able to get both the raw data and the curated data out of our ecosystem so they can use it in downstream however they need to, or to plug in their own models into our ecosystem seamlessly through a rich set of APIs and tools. To give you an example, the Guidewire data platform today provides customers with a mechanism called Cloud Data Access. This provides access to a near real-time feed of every change across every field that happens within the insurance suite database in the cloud. Many of our customers are using this to preserve the option value of that data for actuary analysis or to build downstream integrations off the near real-time feed to provide their business users with more continuous insight instead of just at the end of the day. Another example would be bring your own model. If you've invested in training models for specific experience you want to enable, whether it's pricing, claim or submission processing, risk evaluation, our closed loop analytic engine allows customers to deploy their models within our ecosystem so they can drive workflow within Insurance Suite. So it's definitely both. While we're differentiating within our service by providing an end-to-end -end closed loop analytics pipeline for core experiences, we're also facilitating an open platform for customers to tap into that pipeline at the points that make sense. Thanks, Nick. I think customers will be really happy to hear how the data platform works and plays well with their broader ecosystem. So to recap, we've talked about how the cloud data platform democratizes data and enables a closed loop analytics solution. We've talked about what is already in the cloud data platform, what it will shortly provide in Banff. Looking beyond Banff, what do you see as some of the major innovations coming in future releases? So today, there is already a lot that we have that customers can use. As an example, licensing our external data listening capabilities that we collect and carry into signal-ready assets that can help you price and evaluate risk. Or by tapping into the near real-time stream of data that I mentioned earlier through cloud data access. From here going forward, everything we do is tailored towards making data easier and easier to use for our customers so that we can solve for the data democratization challenge and help our customers innovate faster with analytics. Looking out towards Cortina and beyond, we've already auto-curated all of Claim Center data and we're using that internally today to develop analytics that are part of our solutions that we are offering. By Cortina, we're looking to start providing customers with access to that curated data directly through a new application that we're really excited about. We're also investing heavily in using this to facilitate our closed loop analytic engine end to end. So more to come on that, but to give you a quick teaser, here's a live look at one part of the new application, Data Studio. So what you're seeing here is a window into all of the raw and automatically curated data provisioned by the Guidewire data platform. From here, customers will be able to grab the auto-curated data assets that we discussed earlier, drag them into the pane, and then start querying that data to join it with other assets. So that ultimately, you can publish specific data sets for downstream needs, whether it's analytics or integrations. Once those new data sets are defined, they can then be published and leveraged through cloud data access, so you can pull them into your downstream ecosystems, or assign capabilities like train model or visualize data to further the deployment of closed loop analytics within the Guidewire ecosystem seamlessly. We're looking forward to sharing more with you on that as we get closer to Cortina, so definitely keep your eye out for what we're doing there. Thanks, Nick, for that sneak peek on Data Studio. Based on what customers have told me personally, that seems to solve a major, major problem in getting data sets for their downstream needs. A warehouse, integrations, training analytic data models, really anywhere else in that broader ecosystem for that matter. A lot of really great innovations coming in the data platform. And with that, we are at time. I'd like to thank Nick Fleck and Premjith Ryroth for answering our questions today and for explaining the value of the cloud data platform and how it democratizes data for the modern insurer. Please check out our other sessions at Connections on Data and Analytics, and thanks to all of you for listening in today.